What's up guys, it's T. I'm here with a tutorial on how to make this black bars widescreen effect. Just so you know, there is a technical way to do this. Just look up anamorphic lenses and you'll go from there. But if you want a two minute solution to making your footage look more cinematic, this is the video for you. So first thing I'm going to do is click this new item button down here and add a color mat, make it black, call it black bars. and then drag it onto your timeline. Make it the length of your video and go into your effects tab, find your crop, drag it onto your black bars and now you've got left, top, right and bottom. Start with your bottom, type in 90%, hold option on your Mac and click and drag your black bars up one layer. So now you've got your duplicate black bars. And on that top layer, make your 90 zero and make your top 90. So you can see that this looks pretty good so far. The only problem is that some of these shots are getting cut off. So what I'm going to do now is go into each of these clips and drag the Y position until it looks good um, for your shot. Make sure you're not dragging it too far one of the two ways. So this clip starts off where you want, you know, the very top of the clip to be shown in the screen, but it ends up being down here where you want to raise the clip a little bit higher. So what I'd recommend doing is at the beginning of the clip, add a keyframe and make that an ease in keyframe. And then go to your end of your clip, frame before and change your bottom position. So now you'll see your position is changing so you can keep him in the shot even though you have this black bars effect. So go in, tweak all your clips and make something really awesome. By the way, shout out to Charlie Boy Carter. He is an awesome guy, an amazing artist. Definitely go check out his music on Spotify and and all those music platforms. All right guys, click that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff, send it to every single one of your friends. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.